another player can stop him. I wish I could say something different, but I mean, that's what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting is easy. Draining three pointers? Not so much. For FSU guard Xavier Rattan Mays, that's all in a day's work. He hit six threes and put up 30 points in less than five minutes last year against Miami in one of the most prolific performances in Florida State basketball history. Uh, man, it was, it was special. I was in a type of zone that I've never been in before. It felt like I was in a place by myself, uh, in a gym by myself. Everything was quiet and everything I kind of put up there felt like it was going to go in. So um, it was definitely a special moment. I knew it was in him, but I wasn't expecting it at the time. I had just came out the game, and that's when he got on his streak. And it brought my mood up because I was kind of upset. But when he started making those shots, I was jumping up and down, cheering him on. Before he burst onto the scene last season, Rattan Mays was a big-time recruit. In high school, his play garnered him attention from schools all across the country, but it was his work ethic that truly shined. It came from my dad. Uh, I remember when I was young. If I was allowed to go and sleep out of the people's house, but I, I always had to be back by 6 a.m. in the morning on the driveway waiting for my dad to be able to work out. And I think that's where my work ethic came from. Uh, my workout started a little bit early. I go at 5 every morning. Um, I go three, four times a day. Well, Zay was an outstanding player. He's a hard worker. He puts a lot of, he's a gym rat. Uh, he's puts a lot of hours in the gym working on his game. He, uh, he really loves to be in the gym. As, as hard as he works, it's not like work for him. Uh, he enjoys this part of the development process. Uh, he spends as, as much time in the gym working on his game as anybody that I've ever seen. I just feel like uh, I need to be the hardest working player everywhere I go. And um, If I'm going to be a leader, if I'm going to be a guy that guys look up to and, um, and respect, I need to be the hardest working player on the team and in the organization. XRM's passion for basketball is no surprise. His father, Theron Mays, is a Seminole legend, having played basketball in Tallahassee in the late 80s. It was special for me, knowing that uh, the school that my father played at was recruiting me. Growing up, being a young boy, you always, a kid always wants to kind of fo follow in their father's footsteps, especially when um, your father has done things that you're trying to do. The legacies in families are important for certain people, and the fact that his dad did play here, I'm sure, sure meant a lot to him. I wanted to come here and kind of follow in his footsteps and break some of the records that he said. And, um, and, and that's why I wear the number that I wear today, 22. That's, that's what he wore when he was here. And um, I, I wanted to be uh, an extension of him, a representation of him. One thing is certain, Xavier is a special type of player. My mom always texts me, stay humble and hungry. And my dad, every morning, he texts me, be special. Every time you step out there, be special. And um, on my shoes, I have be special written. And that's what I want to do. Just every, every single day I step out on the court, I want to be special and uh, be able to um, help this program win and h help these coaches and these players on this basketball team win. For Xavier or Tan Mays, the stakes have changed, but the vision remains the same. The Seminoles have gained national attention this year, and part of that comes from the sophomore. The guard continues to impress his teammates and coaches, and he has no fans excited for another season of Florida State basketball. I'm Matt McMahon, reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine.